Hey guys, it's Ashley, and um, I just wanted to share that I am here with my first design team project for the month of May for Craft Supplies 1. Um, I was so happy with all of the wonderful goodies that Julie sent me, so I was super excited to um, get creating. And what I uh, used on the project, I'm just going to show because... Um, there are several items, so it's just going to be easier to do it that way. So what I decided to create was a card, which I have not actually done in a while. And as I promised, I wanted to try to um, incorporate several different types of projects. So my first project is this card. And I got a ton of fabulous doilies and flowers, and so I really wanted to utilize those. So... The first thing I did is I just used one of the corrugated card bases that you guys have seen and I also used a sheet of the um, burlap paper stack that I purchased from Joann's and then um, I also incorporated some of these beautiful doilies so there's this large one here in the back I also used this one here which is like a beautiful cream color. This one is a stark white. And then underneath that, the final layer I actually used was one of the um, thin white doilies that I received as well this month. And that is right here peeking out. And then I wanted to use a um, stamped image on here to kind of be the um, focal point and I used one of my um, Magnolia Tilda stamps and I believe this is Tilda with rain boots so I just colored that up and then I used uh, my stickles on there as well on her bow and her dress and then this beautiful heart trim that you see down here, this is from Craft Supplies 1. And I just made a double layer and I overlapped it so that the space in between was filled in. And then all of these gorgeous flowers that I made into a custom cluster are all from um, the package that I received this month. There's some beautiful peaches, some baby pinks some cream and also um, some white and then these fabric flowers here are also from a prior design team package and they have the built-in um, pearl sprays that came along with them and then I also used some of the um, metal filigree pieces that I had in my stash from Julie as well and then I used some of these beautiful um, curly Q vines that came off of some of the clusters. I still have a ton of flowers left so um, you can see this is about two clusters that I created by um, breaking apart some of the other ones and I also used some of the beautiful textured leaves. They almost have like a velvet feel to them and then I also used one of the acrylic flowers, the last one that I had left from Julie's shop as well. And then here this is just some um, burlap trim that I had received in a rack. So as you can see, Julie has tons of super, super gorgeous trims and um, I've been obsessed with the doilies and all of the beautiful flowers. And I love the, the tones of the, of the flowers, how there's um, a lot of duotone and tritone colors. So it's really cool because it has its own highlights on it. Like you can see, this large one I'm excited to use on a project, but you can see how there's a very pale, and then there's almost like an ombre where there's a medium tone, and then along the edges, they all have these dark edges. So they're already perfectly um, colored for you. The only thing you you know might even have to do if you decided to would be to add some gesso on them but they are beautiful I love how they're already dimensional so you don't have to worry about 
you know, spraying and all of that stuff. It's all of the hard work is already done for you. And as well, as you can see, like this is one that I cut off of. Um, there's already beautiful clusters, you know, with the leaves and the vines and all of the flowers as well. And same thing with the doilies. All the hard work is already done. They've already been clipped and separated. And they are beautiful. I love all of the colors and the design. So... And then on the inside, um, for the sentiment, I just used a stamp set that I had, and I used some of my um, Memento inks, and there's just a little vintage style frame that I just stamped out, and then this is in a darker brown. It just says, hello, friend. So I just kept it simple. Um, usually when I create cards, I'll write a message, you know, up along the top, or... Um, I may leave them blank so that the person can reuse them if they want. So that is the beautiful card that I created this month for Craft Supplies 1. So if you guys are interested in finding um, these beautiful trims and doilies and flowers and all of the lovely embellishments that I used on this card, you can definitely check out Julie Shops, Craft Supplies 1 on Zibit and on Etsy. And I usually share as well if you guys... Um, follow me on Facebook. I will share when there are flash sales um, as well as from time to time on my YouTube channel as well. So please, as always, let me know what you think down below and please stay tuned because I will have two more projects this month using um, more fabulous goodies from Craft Supplies 1. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye!